Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we're back to Borderlands 2. Let's continue. We are in a bad way with guns, so I'm going to have to be particularly picky about what I pick up. Like, you still kind of have to break everything because I need iridium, I need gold. Uh, theoretically, there might come a time, another hundred hours in, where I wouldn't need either one of those things. And then it would just be a matter of if I have enough bullets, then I have no reason to to smash or open anything. Uh, although in this DLC, because we have these mimic characters, you still kind of have to open chests because you want to kill the mimics and grind those characters out. Uh, but we never really got in Borderlands 1 to a point well I, I just didn't play it enough on one console to to be at a max level and just be set for life on everything I don't believe in Borderlands 1 there was a challenge that revolved around having three million dollars either So yeah, this is not an expensive enough gun to justify picking up. Hmm. This area seems sort of empty. And this is... Oh man, there's a vending machine right on the other side of this gate that I can't open. Ah, oh, that's what I need more than anything. Again, it reiterates the feeling that if I could just break down guns for half of their value, uh, I would do it instead of leaving things on the ground. I mean, it's really ridiculous that all these bullets just don't get picked up. Ingot processing. Feels like we're stuck in the ground. Standing before you is a dwarven puzzle. To get past it, you gotta think real hard. To the max! What does this thing do? How do I solve this puzzle? Look it up online. Hmm. Okay. So remember, this is Tiny Tina giving us this puzzle, so it's. Probably not going to be really solvable or difficult in any way at all. Let's see. I'm seeing a lot of things. There's the thing we're trying to get. Um. Let's see, solve the ancient dwarven puzzle. It says. Hmm. You found it! Now, place the beard bits within its magical dwarven bowels! How long have you been waiting to use the phrase magical dwarven bowels? Several hours. <laughs> so, this is the other quest where we're forging the beard for a claptrap. We got five pieces. Why we're only placing three, I don't know. So the thing to take from this is there was a swing a hammer in the Halloween DLC too, so they're reusing that animation probably. Good looking door here. Cool. Grab it. Now, return to me and place the magical facial hair hmm. upon my deserving robotic face. 
there's just like a red sky up there. Where it's supposed to be underground. I'm not even trying to solve the puzzle right now, I'm just trying to open everything. There's a cult of a vault symbol and a thing here. So what I'm not seeing is any symbols, so let's just hit this and see what happens. Okay, so this doesn't seem so much like a puzzle, it's maybe just a, like, activate everything? Because it kind of doesn't seem like it's doing anything. not resetting. There's no way I just accidentally achieved everything. Right. Blue. Then that blue. And then that blue. And then that blue. Okay, so it wants me to do the combination starting here going counterclockwise. What if I do it backwards? Hmm. We'll just do all of this. I'm not sure if this means I've already failed. Well, I guess actually I'm doing it backwards, so I'm undoing the actions on the Rubik's Cube, putting it back the way it started. Hmm. Somebody was a little obsessed with Rubik's Cubes. But this makes sense. This is a Dungeons and Dragons nerd game. Locked. Yep. Hmm. Whoa, you solved my devious puzzle. Nice. You guys are as smart as. Some iridium in the middle. It opened both gates. Call to the vault. Let's see, there's two more hidden symbols in, in this area. Take that. And I'm full again. Well, whatever. Leave that alone. I did off screen go through all of the uh, items I have, and <laughs> unsurprisingly, all of it was stuff that just could be sold. Hmm. I wish the textures looked as sharp as they do here, out here. It seems like it's a little bit fuzzier. F F. Only one letter left. I've got the last letter, Muppet! And with the sorcerer's power coursing through my veins, hmm. you'll never get it! So now where are we going? 
this direction. So I guess that gate is going to be unlocked. Big boss fight time. Run through here. Gate is open. We got a checkpoint. Got some bullets if we need them. Got something over there. We got this here. Yeah, this feels like this might be a big boss fight. But what could it really do? The the only thing that even slightly would be dangerous is if he can knock me off the edge into lava. So that's my one concern. Hmm. Oh, and here we are, finally. Alright. Thank goodness. We can now sell everything. But it's still not going to put us in the best position because if we go over here and sell that, I still have a gun that I don't need and a bunch of white level 35 things that I'm going to just at this point have to assume are not good enough to stay in my safe. Like, I'm, I'm just going to have to assume that that's the case, because otherwise I'm going to hold on to that forever. Um, I think I want to hold on to this, though. I am but a humble merchant, hmm. and these are my wares. Do I need to buy any bullets? Not I shall really. see you Looking for a healer. <laughs> You're hmm. in the right place. Don't die. Okay. So, we have Greed Tooth here, and it looks like we're going to jump down and fight a big boss fight. Yeah, it seems like I can't even hit him until I jump down. Hmm. Why do I need to go down this hole, I wonder? You enter the lair of Greed Tooth the Dwarf. The sorcerer brainwashed him into running this place. You also notice a weird ass magic globe. Might be why Greed Tooth's so mean. Hmm. So it's a damage shrine. We've seen these things. <laughs> kind of felt like I was going to. I was going to get attacked immediately, but. Seems like I'm fine to take my time. We can go back to just picking up random bullets. Hmm. I'm getting the feeling that there's gonna be a lot of content in this DLC at this point. Maybe a little bit too much. Being in such an open area and not immediately being attacked is throwing me off. Hmm. So unless this turns into like fight a giant dragon, which that's exactly what we'd want, is we we'd want a dragon fight in an area like this. I'm not sure. See, so he's just sitting there. Welcome to my lair. Now free and die. He just jumped in the lava. fight. Let's do this. I don't see his health. So far. Alright, 
bullets. That's good enough. Seems like I can't hit him. No, I can totally hit him, it's just not targeting him. Alright, well then we'll just we'll just fire several of these and then switch to something else. You know, now would not be the time to use a thorn shield that is considerably weaker than what it needs to be. So, hey, let's come over here and equip the right shield. So we've got a gold golem. I don't know if I like the lore of golems being like magically created from dwarves. Like golems are usually built by dwarves, yes, but not uh, unless Goldtooth jumped inside this golem and he, it's like a a robot suit. I guess maybe that's what the, is going on. It's hard to see. Yep. Where are you? Aerial Golem. Fills on bullets. I guess more than anything else. Um, was there anything else over here? It's silly, I know, but we'll go ahead and equip this shield back. I want to use it for a little bit, and it, it won't be a real problem in suffering big boss fights. Laser butts. Whatever that is, I want. Hmm. Iridium. Interesting. Now, do I want to exit this area before I pick up the iridium? Definitely not, but um, do I want to make a special trip back around and up to sell guns? Or can I just assume that this will not this will put me in a place where I can sell the guns later pretty easily and quickly and there's two portals and I kind of feel like if I go in the one on the right I might end up somewhere different than if I go on the one on the left
The idea of portals to leave an area is, is certainly intriguing. Though, save, save a lot of frustration. Alright, in the main game too. So, yeah, I could run here. Oh yeah, there, there's actually something to collect over there, so we need to go get, the, get it anyways. Hmm. So we'll run in a circle. I imagine this gate is designed in case you died. Uh, so you could run back up if you were low on bullets, I guess. And I'm guessing that's the idea. Hmm. Yeah, if you were completely totally out of bullets and needed to go back up to get some you would come this way I don't think I really need to look at any of the weapons I have. Well, maybe we'd consider this weapon compared to that one. And nope, it's not any better. So, yeah, we could try this weapon to this weapon. Hmm. Nope, it's still not as good. The rest of these I'm just gonna mark as sellable. Hmm. I'm holding on to th that one. What would this health regen? Slightly, slight improvement in health regen for a slight reduction in health. I mean, honestly, it's probably worth doing. Let's see. And we'll sell the other one. At the very least, that means we can move things around and maybe tell the game to to drop things. Alright, so this is a spike shield up with fire that has a better stats in everything so we'll equip that the fact that I've been using a spike shield I think has been helping here here is a standard level 35 shield Wow interesting so that's those stats really probably don't change too much uh, my bullets aren't magic but they are Gee, you need healing hmm. badly Good luck on your quest okay. or whatever. There's walls came up. These walls weren't here before. Hmm. So they specifically put up the walls so you couldn't shoot from up higher. <laughs> Interesting. So you can just target the enemies and and snipe them to death. Let's see if we can. Nope. Hmm. So on the map, we still have this central location that we're probably coming back to. R-A-T-F? We have to unscramble that? Is it wrapped? I bet it's wrapped. Hmm. Tra trap? It's trap. With it not being F, it's P. Let's see. 
It's R A F T. Apparently, that's what they they want us to spell. R A F T. If it was a P instead of an F. Speak the catchphrase. Raft. Was that not the password? R F A R T. Okay. Oh God, I just figured it out. So say it. Fine, it's art. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Speak the Dwarven passphrase and head to the Sorcerer's Tower. Story mission, we turn this in, we get guys, some experience. Guys, did somebody say fart? What a stinky thing to say! <laughs> Yeah. You ruin everything. <laughs> Chapter 3 Gamer Games. And we're level 41 now. Um. Meanwhile, where is this quest to give the beard? It's in the Mines of Avarice. Which is apparently not where. So give the beard the claptrap. He is over there. So let's go do that quickly. Meanwhile, also we can use this. And with one point, I now have four points. 16% of my health would, will now be refilled whenever I melee anything because of my mod pack. Um, Let's see what else would get a benefit with what I'm wearing right now. Um, I don't think anything else I, I have actually would benefit from that. Let's look at this. Yes, three resurgence skill. Yep, that's all it is. So I'm not sure how many research and skills you could actually have on top of your your new uh, the max levels you can put in it. But the idea of being able to melee something and it dying horribly and is an intriguing idea. Well, also. It dying horribly and you gaining a significant amount of health. The health was the important part there. Well, my mind wandered. Might as well grind a little bit on these rock golems. I need like a corrosive for a ex explosive grenade mod. Put the beard on him. I feel the power. Hmm. <laughs> I feel wise as right now. <laughs> My kingdom from the wand. Wizard is nothing without a wand. Bring him a shock weapon and explosive weapon. I've got my magic beard, but my wand's running a little low on magic juice. Here, take it. Pick up crappy wand. I need you to jam that thing into a few magical creatures <laughs> and then kill them. The magic juices in their blood should charge the wand. First up, the wand will need golem magic. First ability, find a magical golem. Hmm. The currently Trek mission requires to use a weapon of a specific elemental type explosive. Be sure to equip one. Alright. Do I have an explosive type? 
Uh, yeah. Do I want to do this quest right now? Might as well. Alright, so we have to go insert the wand into a golem. Um, do I have an item called the wand? Hmm. This is the magical golem. So, insert. So we need a shotgun next. Do I have a shotgun? Um, let's see. Shotgun, shock, 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 shock. I don't have a shotgun. Hmm. Hmm. So this would want me to run kind of back to where I was, potentially buy a shock weapon and uh, and deal with that. I don't think that's a wise. Uh, efficient use of the time. So instead, let's exit the Dwarven Mines, get into a new area, figure out that we probably need to go back to the main area in this DLC. We probably need to go back to Sanctuary to um, it's level 41. Do I think we could make it to level 42? Mm. This DLC does seem pretty long, so it might might work that way. We, we might actually want to wait till level 42 before we pop out another 10 golden keys. Hmm. hmm. Or, you know, we could come over here and see if we can maybe buy a shock weapon. That also might work. I am work. but a humble merchant, and these are my wares. Let's see. Crowed and transfusion. Do I have equipped right now? Shock damage. You know what? I'm just gonna take that. Consider that a mana potion. Take Shield that and goodbye. equip it. Just so I can use a transfusion mod for a while. Welcome to Dr. Zed's portable hmm. cleric station. Hmm. Alright. Look at my health. Buy back now. Let's see if we can. No, we can't buy back anything. <laughs> Oh, well. Whatever, but they are cheap. Hmm. So I was hoping to be able to buy a shotgun, but I can't right now. With the sorcerer's tower in sight, you think of what you're going to spend your reward money on once you rescue the queen. I care not for cash. I live for the true combat. That said, I'll buy guns. Hmm. So, Zero getting a lot of 
lines of dialogue here. Um. So at this point, I know that there's an in undiscovered quest for this area. That's probably not that far. But I feel like we should fast travel to Flame Rock Refuge. Find this un undiscovered thing. And then, uh, well, actually, let's go to the unassuming docks. So that is our next quest. Go find the crumpets. And then we'll go from that point to to play the refuge um, if we can find some things while we're here like a shotgun that would be great too otherwise we're just going to be fighting some random skeletons See how these skeletons level five arch archer. Yeah, the 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 thorn damage that these these are gonna get are not gonna be uh, enough to kill them. And all these guys work dealing with. And I disappear, hmm. a ghost amidst the combat, preparing to strike. No, I think this is just gonna take too much time if we if we stretch this out and we fight a bunch of skeletons for no reason. Mr. Bony Pants guy is back. Let's try this. See what a transfusion MIRV weapon will do. I don't see Mr. Bony Pants. Jeez, I might have glitched it. So, you can see I'm working on a quest right now where I haven't done any transfusion grenades in the hundred plus hours that I've spent. Uh, playing this game it's just it's things like that can happen there's a little too much variety it's, it's a little too easy to miss stuff there he is here we have an immortal soldier Now I kind of know that we are going to eventually have to come back here because there's there, there was a lot of stuff. Let, let's face it, there, unless they straight up did not finish developing this DLC and just released it unfinished. Uh, there's a little too much in this area for you to just run around and ignore it. I think these transfusion grenades can really hurt me that much. Right. It wants me to jump. Hmm. I think. If I wasn't staggered. Hmm. 
Hmm. Shouldn't be having this much trouble. Why does it not want to let me get over this? Like, clearly this is what they wanted me to do. Let's make a mad dash over here. It just does not want me to jump in that way. Here, let's jump backwards then. Oh wait, no, it wants me to jump on this. Well, you can see my confusion there. Okay, and the last one is over this way. grenades and transfusion grenades at them. Elf Vampire 1. Done. Lunch, you could. Oh, God, what is that? It, it's a salad. Why is it green? It looks like the devil. Just calm down. <laughs> Staring at me. <laughs> so we have a battle skeleton and a rock going fighting each other. And neither one is really making much progress against the other. Hmm. hmm. Another devil reference. Interesting. So it puts Pandora in a weird position because, like, well, not Pandora, but Borderlands. It, it makes it seem like this crazy insane world is somehow the real world that that we live in as uh, in some far distant future. Uh, equipped the wrong gun here, excellently. Hmm. Where was none, none of those were grenades, alright. Hmm. Hmm. May have just equipped a grenade mod on accident. Hmm. So that part of the quest is now done, so we can run to Flame Rock Refuge uh, and turn in and discover this quest and then go to the forest and discover this quest and do these quests. Uh, meanwhile, 
this is the shield we're using. I don't. This is the transfusion grenade mod we're using. Hmm. We're looking for a electric gun. Hmm. And so far, none of those have met the qualifications. Override cooldown rate, I think we could probably sell that. Let's see. Sell that. That. And that. This is a Nova shield, and this is an amp shield. I don't know if I really need to use a Nova Shield right now. <gasps> this is kind of the point where you would like to be able to just fast travel. But I suppose it's not going to take too long to to run. And meanwhile we can Throw the grenades and see if that does anything. dealing with any of those guys. And smash, and smash. See if there's anything, nope, move on. Hmm. Again, this feels more like a Borderlands world than fantasy world for a brief second there and then you walk into the fantasy world right do I want to run that direction and fight some spiders not right now all right so Torg has a quest we need to turn in Kill the monster. Turn into Mr. Torg. What is an esports? I second base. Hmm. He doesn't have anything new. So we had to pick whether we Welcome wanted the flame rock refuge. Whether we wanted the real armor or the sexy armor for Ellie here. We Give chose here, the sexy armor, uh, which clearly you can see in the outline will not fit her. Um, which, I mean, you gave me a choice and I chose the sexy armor as a joke, but in all reality, like, this is the exact same, same thing Moxie was pressuring Ellie to do, was to dress more sexy, uh, in the main game, and that's why she had a falling out with Moxie, and wasn't in Sanctuary. <laughs> so it's the slave Leia armor too. So I gave her the skippy armor. Could really use a sweater. Hmm. So I made my choice and now I'm gonna have to live with it. Alright. No regrets. No regrets. So, one of the things we had here was over here there were some iridium based slot machines. I want to see what an iridium based slot machine 
his biggest payout is. I have a decent amount of iridium, but it's costing me about two to. Yeah, it's costing me two to spin this each time. Hmm. So, unless this thing paid out like a hundred iridium, I, I'm not sure what it could really offer me. Let's just start them both going and speed this up. Hmm. Hmm. So the bar 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 gives you four iridium for two. That's not really a good deal. This gives you a roll of the dice. Which then, well, the dice seems to not really do anything. Cupcakes seems to not give you anything. This is a level 35 regular. So maybe if I got a bunny, 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 I would, I would get a really good game. One iridium, one iridium. I'm wasting a lot of iridium for this experiment. Alright, so 35 purple, 15, another purple, hmm. seems like that's really all it's going to hand to me, hmm, that's probably good. Now the thing here is with the amount of iridium I have, uh, there's no real guarantee I would get higher. Like I'm literally trading iridium for money, if anything. Alright, 700, 2000, 2000. Hmm. That was a very high cash drop towards the challenge. Like, that may have been 150,000 right there. Um, but that's not really that much. That's rainbow, 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 and that's probably all you can get. So, I think I'm going to stop at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stop gambling there. That seems decent. Thanks, I'm not stuck in the dwarven mines. But not great. Alright. Let's come over here. We're looking for a electric gun that we're gonna make a special occurrence instance for. Or special exception for, I guess would be the phrase. Uh, do I have any shotguns? To consider, let's actually go and sell what we were gonna sell. I'll save this some time. This assault gun's not better. That's not better. Hmm. That's not better. Hmm. That's not better. That's not better. Let's see. Sniper rifle versus other sniper rifles. That's not better. It's not better. I am but a humble merchant, and these are my. Hmm. And this bazooka compared to this bazooka is not better. All right. Hmm. This this one goes to resurgence. 
So it adds a lot more points to things. Creates an implosion that pulls enemies towards you. But this one does a lot of other things. So, no, that's still not good. Mm, blistering bullets. Bouncing Betty. Might be worth trying. Longbow Singularity. What is that compared to that? No, it's still not. I don't think worth it. Cross of Cloud, I think that might be something that I haven't done. And then hit, we have an Absorb Shield that we'll get rid of. Welcome to Ye Old Bullet Emporium. You need healing badly. Hmm. <laughs> Good luck on your quest or whatever. Magic, magic. Everybody. Nothing like a gun at your side. Skin. And let's see if we can find a gun that's shocking. Nope. If you've got gold, I've got treasure. Hmm. I have so many grenade mods, though. too many grenade mods for what I'm thinking about certainly all right all right I'm screwing around a little bit here trying to get some challenges done Roland's got a quest for us some magical bad guys need to be killed hmm. you up for the job so we talk to him and see what he has to say here there's a uh Let's say unmotivated golem somewhere around here with a pretty sweet sword stuck in his hmm. back. I'd appreciate it if you could bring it back to me. Hmm. Got a new quest for you. We know where that is. Hey, it's Roland. Somewhere near the sorcerer's castle, there lives a prince named Jeffrey. He's already murdered several innocent men, and if left alone, Jeffrey will become the most monstrous king this world has ever known. You must find him, kill his guards, and slap a bastard out of him. Hmm. Okay. And let's see. Now that quest wants us to go to the forest. Um. We just have the sword and the stone quest now that I want to deal with. Uh, we may need to fast travel from that area to the other uh, area afterwards that that wouldn't be too hard I think we could uh, I'm a little surprised that the tavern and the forge don't offer you weapons of any sort like it, it feels like the tavern should should be giving you some something that you could refill on bullets, or the uh, forge should be giving you weapons. Hmm. I'm still trying to grind on golems. I can probably kill skeletons anyway. Gun that shoots swords. You know it. That gun shoots magical swords, and it is tight as hell. The bad guys won't know what hit them, but they'll probably assume it was swords. This is the best game I've ever played. Nine more skeletons need to be killed for that challenge. So this guy could be kind of difficult. 
Looks like he's taking a nap. Just sneak up and grab the sword. Nope. Not so lucky. Looks like you got him angry. Just kill him and yank out the sword, other butt. He's still super weird. Your face is super weird. Oh, wow! Give me five breaths. Oh. Help! So he destroyed everything around here. Which just is gonna make it easier to pick a bullet if necessary. He's down. Grab the sword, quick. Didn't budge. You gotta keep yanking. <laughs> The sword's cursed. It's reviving him. Watch out, his health's recharging. So now he's a perturbed golem. So you would have thought that this quest would have should have happened before you um you ran into any of the immortal uh he's nearly out. Keep pulling. Like any of the those immortal uh skeletons. But it didn't. Now he's the enraged golem. Yeah, I could see if I wasn't still five levels above these guys that th this would be difficult. Is this guy gonna? Uh, well done. Now bring that sword back to me, would you? Hmm. A new instrument waiting for a sonata that I will conduct. So we just go around all of this and pick up all of this stuff, or how much of it? actually need to pick up hmm. see there might be like a white gun around here and I wouldn't even really be able to tell because I'd have to go through every single one of these and see if any of these actually are a gun because I can't really see them on the ground that well hmm. Well, I think I, I think I've gotten everything that's important. And good news, because we go give that sword to Roland, and then that'll probably have us turn, uh, move forward. We picked up a electric gun. I am fairly certain we did. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down, down, down. Here we go. Discharge TMP electric. That's all I really need. I only need it for a brief second. Let's see. Shield recharge rate. Hmm. Instead of XP. It's an interesting idea. Certainly once you get to max level then I'm going to have to dance around the idea of what relic is really worth holding on to and using because we we do have that special relic that drops 5% rare loot uh, which I've never seen anything that even begins to imply that I'd get another one of those type of relics that was a like I guess not pre-order bonus that wouldn't be accurate but some kind of bundle bonus hmm I really don't have time for this Uh, I, it's been another hour and we're making progress, but yeah, this definitely feels like a longer experience. This is a lot of quests, uh, particularly compared to the TK Baja quest. Uh, honestly, I don't know if maybe I need to go back in that area and just double check to make sure I didn't miss some things. But I, I really don't think I did because the level itself is so small. It's just this one tiny small area. Everything else has been a lot bigger. Uh, let's see, we got a badass token. I guess we can use that. Let's see. 
Um, gun accuracy? No. Elemental effect damage? Yes. So, let's see. Yeah, the only thing that's not at 6% is critical hit damage. And then at that point, I think I'm going to start pounding things back into just shield recharge rate uh, delay or something like that. Honestly, you probably should just put everything in shield recharge rate uh, and reduction of delay. And I don't think it really changes too much using any of it. Anyways, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want to friend or follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below.